What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrosis is here. We're back in the world of FTB Infinity Evolved. And uh, we, we've we've moved some of our stuff over. I'm, I'm still in the process of kind of handling this stuff. Um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, the server updated yesterday, which changed... Okay, that's the part builder. Okay, I need to change that around. Put you here. Pick you up. You go here. Anyways, the server updated, which uh, got rid of all my waypoints, so I had to uh, teleport down to Mind Pie, who was AFK, snuck out of his base, got my old home, redid this one, and then redid that one, and now we're good to go again. Uh, interesting enough, the pattern chest actually keeps all of your uh, stuff in it, even when you break it now, which is <laughs> that alone is badass. Like I am, I'm very, very, very happy about that. That makes makes my life very easy. Uh, that being said, currently our life is not very easy because we are starving to death. Uh, we're having some real food problems um, at the moment. So I, I need to get a decent supply of uh, mushrooms. The other problem is nighttime is pretty hostile. Uh, and that's that's like the understatement of the year. Now, I, I'd come over here. You can see I, I chopped a few of these d uh, up a little bit. Uh, I ran out of uh, my, my, my little crappy axe here broke, which... Basically meant I, I couldn't do it, and then it was nighttime, so I had to wait till daytime because it. Oh, sorry, Mushroom. Anyways, it was it was pretty bad. So uh, I don't know how these mushroom biomes work. Um, this is a uh, one of those vanilla mechanics that I've never had to mess with, never had to learn. I know it's possible to turn some of the mushroom things into. Um, this will do. Boom, boom. You can turn mushrooms, like normal mushrooms, into big mushrooms, like these. Uh, and usually, naturally, oh my god, we're about to break it again. Usually, naturally, you only see these, I guess, in mushroom biomes. Uh, so, well, I guess we'll leave it up like that. So, I'm curious, um, if we bone meal them, will they grow big? They sure will. Perfect. So, we're going to keep one there. Um, in fact, we're going to move them a little closer. So they're a little closer to home. Uh, unfortunately, mycelium, uh, which is what I'm using to grow these, doesn't seem to... Uh, I need silk touch to pick it up, which is a bummer. All right, so boom, boom, boom. There we go. That's one red one. We got one purple one there. Um, we'll do one more red one because the red ones seem to be a little scarce. So boom. Perfect. Okay. So that's enough. Um, put that there. Bam. Bam, and we've got a decent supply of food. Uh, we can come back anytime we need it, and we just need to make sure that we keep planting the mushrooms that we need. Uh, and we should be fine. We should be fine. That's fairly close to where it's it's not that big a deal. Hello, spider. It's daytime. Why are you hostile? Oh, God. I need to fix this real quick because that's my only weapon. I guess, I guess in the shadow of the tree, they stay hostile, and then as soon as they hit out in the daylight, because he's not chasing me anymore. So I'm assuming... At this point, he's not hostile, which is which is weird, um, but but it seems that's the way it's working. So uh, I'm gonna put most of our garbage in here. We'll sort it up so I can at least see it. So uh, what we basically need now is I need to get up there because uh, that's where we're gonna be building our home. Uh, but I, I don't want to. I mean, once we get up there, we're gonna have plenty of wood. But I don't want to cannibalize this tree too much because it's gonna be our home. So we've got another one way over there, which we are going to cannibalize. The problem is, at the moment, we have absolutely garbage for uh, for an axe. I mean, you saw, I mean, it, it didn't take long at all for that axe to kind of screw up in that last, uh, that last little setup. I mean, we, we basically chewed through it like that. And that's, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So we're, we're going to need something a little bit more beefy. And the problem is, all I've really got is aluminum. We've got some tin. And then we've got... Um, what is it? Uh, is that blood in there? Yeah, it's blood. And uh, copper. So so we don't have much in the way of tools. Now, I, I could make an iron one. Uh, I think I have a little bit of iron. Yes. Maybe not even iron. Yeah, I've got enough iron to basically repair my pick, and that's about it. Uh, and we don't have any diamonds yet. We don't have any diamonds yet. So that's, that's a problem, because... That means we don't have a good pick or a good axe to go do some chopping, and we're going to be doing a lot of chopping. And unfortunately... Unfortunately... Uh, there's no iguana tweak, so I can't level them up, and, and there's no way to, to progress there uh, either. So uh, I guess basically what we need to do now is we need to go do some mining, uh, get some maybe some diamonds, some some stuffs. Uh, once we get diamonds, we can make some obsidian, and we can go from there. Um, 
There's probably other ways. I, I know with a piping system like this, see, that, that's the problem, like tanks. Let's see, can I make this basic tank? So this is just normal glass. So I can do that. So that's doable. Now I just need some kind of piping system. Now, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind doing one of these, uh, one of these basic tanks either, which seems like it might be even better. So these are, these are pretty cheap. The problem is I need some kind of fluid transfer pipe and that's that's what i'm worried about so we've got let's see tempered fluid i don't i don't really care i just want like a basic a basic is it is it maybe hardened okay so that requires hardened aluminum glass flux plated hardened fluid which is which is it seems to be the the, the default that's gonna require an induction smelter I, I need one that doesn't require that what about temperate fluid duck <gasps> Again, hardened glass, damn it to hell. What about these, super laminar? Now those are gonna be like the mega ones. So that's that's not gonna work for us. So I, I don't want that. Uh, I guess we could use just like a standard one of these. I guess that would work. Yeah, uh, that's probably our best bet is to just use one of those. So let's, let's see if we can get this work. Now for those of you guys who are curious what we're gonna be trying to do here, we're gonna be trying to make obsidian inside our little setup here because if we can get obsidian in here and we can get um what is it um obsidian and water in there then we're good to go so let me see if i can figure out how to get get that so first off we're gonna need two tanks so let's where is it where is it where is it right boom let's grab that and break this and it's copper right all right, so let's spit that out. Let that fill up real quick. We'll just throw our bed down here. There we go. All right. And give me that, come on, there we go. All right, so now we got copper. So we can make the two tanks now, uh, except we don't have any sand. Actually, yeah, I do, I got sand right here. So let's just do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that'll work. Put that in here, pull those out. We don't need those for now. Uh, we'll put those, well, they're technically ingots, so I'll leave them in there. This is gonna be my ore and ingot chest eventually. All right, so we're gonna let this cook real quick. We're gonna use that to turn into copper. Uh, we've got plenty of these. Now what we need is, is basically a desert. Uh, it does look like, if I remember right, there's a desert down there. So we're gonna go ahead and TP to Super Pie again. I believe he's still AFK. Yep, whoa, lag. Uh, and this is the exit to his base. So we'll run over here real quick. He's been busy, as you can tell. He's, he's got a lot of stuff going on. I, I don't think he logs off ever. Um, is there a way out still? I really hope... Yeah, there it is. Okay. I want to mess up his stuff here, but I, I, I need a way out. I wonder what he's doing. This is a very odd-looking base. A very odd-looking base. Uh, looks like he's got a, a Steve's card system going. Pretty hardcore. Uh, now, what we're over here for now is we just need... Whoa, whose base is this? Kind of random, just just, just out here in the middle of nowhere. Who's, whose setup is this? This is Coaster, Random, Marcus... Wow. Wait, so that's Random Space, not Super Base? Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. We're just going to come over here and help ourselves to some of these real quick. All right, break that. Oh, did somebody remove my op abilities? Ah, oh, damn it. See, I can usually harvest... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh god. God, 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 god. Move, move, move quick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank god. Okay. Whew. That's all I need is to fucking die. Alright, there we go. Now I've got some of these. We'll grab one more. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and we'll go ahead and set this waypoint here to new desert. Okay, save. All right, let's go ahead and go home. All right, so now that we've got this, uh, we are going to need one piece of sand to kind of keep this going because uh, we, we may need some more. We may find out we need some more. So we'll go ahead and put this here, and then we'll put you here. And that's going to let that keep basically keep growing. Whoa, buddy! Whoa, you need to slow your roll. 
That's alright, come into my come into my little. I'm trying to knock him into Did he really get stuck? Well you really aren't a very bright zombie, are you? Nope. Don't no no you are not. No you're not. Okay. So we now have the cacti that we need, which I believe No. Is it cooking it to turn it into uh, the cactus stuff? Oh god, I hope the recipe... Yeah, smelting it to cactus green. Okay, thank god. So we'll put one there. Hang on. I'm gonna try and sleep before we get killed. Hopefully we got somebody else in the, the setup that'll sleep with us. Uh, we only need 50% of the server to sleep with us, so hopefully that other person... Yeah, we just need one more. I take a drink of Dr. Pepper. Mm. Come on, man. Help me out here, J2. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. And I just killed enough time to give us that. All right. So we now have that done. Uh, actually, I think I'll put a few more in there just in case. I'll let that let that cook up since we're, we're doing it anyway. And then I believe, there we go, pipe seal it. And then I need wooden. Well, we technically may not need yeah it, th this may work just fine it's an insertion pipe destroys fluids only connects to other pipes sorts fluids extraction pipe so i mean emerald could work because we don't have any emeralds uh golden fluid pipe i don't have any gold iron fluid pipe valve pipe won't connect to cobblestone or stone quartz won't connect to cobblestone or quartz interesting um, it won't connect to stone or quartz. All right, so let's let's just do a cobblestone fluid pipe. So we just need glass and cobblestone. Uh, this may or may not work, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Um, oh, I only have enough for for one. Now the reason I'm doing it this way is we already have whoops. We we already have a way to possibly inject this. So this guy right here. Oh, except I need a wrench. Uh, crescent, perfect. What do I need for you? I need iron and ten. Now, I have one, two, three. I just happen to have that. Now we need ten. Now, copper and ten, unfortunately, makes, um, uh, bronze, I think it is. So, we do need to put... Oh, God. He's gonna be from behind. Hey, buddy! Oh, my God! I almost got killed right there. Yeah, we'll just run over here real fast. Oh, there's a skelly. Do not want to play with the skelly. We'll eat here. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. I may die. Nope, no. Oh, did you see the arrow arc over my left shoulder? Holy crap. Oh, Lord help us. This place is a... This place is hell. No. 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 And yes, I know this is a broken one. I was hoping he would light on fire and just die, but... I think I'm just going to surround my base with cacti. I think that's what we're going to do. Dear God. Okay. Holy crap. Just trying to do a little bit of work here and, and all hell breaks loose. Okay. So basically, we're, we're just going to make a crescent wrench. And I think I might be able to connect a BC pipe to this. Oh, did you just jump? In? You stupid chicken. That is not how I wanted you to connect. Not even remotely. Um, what about up here? Can I get you to connect on top? Yeah, it's not connecting. See, what I was hoping is I could get it to connect here. Because if you can get it to connect here, I can input it directly into the smeltery. Uh, but as you can see, that's not working. Which is odd. It's really odd. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I can't just put this directly on that. Um... And I want to get that chicken breast out of there, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little hesitant that that might kill me. All right, so the problem then is that's just not working, period. So we're going to need... Oh, God! No! Okay, thank God. Whew. We're going to need a different type of pipe. So let's look at pipes. We know we can't use the blue, uh, the BC pipes now. So probably not going to be able to use logistic pipes. We might be able to, but I don't necessarily really want to deal with those. So we basically just need an extra utilities liquid pipe. Hyper rationing. What about just a just a just a liquid pipe? Uh, that's actually not too bad. 
It's a transfer pipe. Okay, so what, what do we use transfer pipes for? They turn into facade pipes. There we go. Transfer nodes. That's what we need. We need a liquid transfer node right there. So we're going to need this pipe first, which is going to be stone slabs, which is just three pieces of stone. That's easy. Thank God. Um, except I'm actually out of cobblestone. Lols? That's not something you hear very often, is I'm out of cobblestone. Uh, did I make a shovel? I seem to recall I did. I did. I did. All right. Let's take that out. Let's put you in and put you there. Boom. Thank you much. That will put you in. There we go. All right. So we just need a little bit of cobblestone. Not much. Not much. Now, I don't know. Do I even have any redstone? I may not. Oh, poop. We don't have any. We don't have any redstone. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to make us a mine. We'll go down deep. We'll find some redstone. We'll come back and then uh, we'll, we'll set this up. Make some alumite and we should be good to go. All right. So after making a mine, um, I'll show you where we are. Do, 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 do. I basically dug straight down, so you can see that little bright hole way up there. That's 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 base. Uh, we're not too far from base. Just uh, what? one, two, three, about four chunks. Um, we're down here deep. We've got an iron pickaxe, and it's not enough to get redstone ore. So we can't mine it with redstone. We need a tier two material. So I'm not sure which materials count as tier two. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to figure out, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely have to change our pickaxe material. Uh, let me figure that out and we'll pick up there. All right, so silly me. Uh, I have an iron pick that we made a while back and that pick actually has the ability to mine redstone. Uh, so, so our flint pick can do iron and our iron pick can do redstone. So that's given us 19 redstone. Now for the transfer node, transfer, there we go. For the liquid transfer node, we are gonna either need an ender pearl for four, uh, which we're not gonna be able to get, or we need one redstone. Now we also need some lapis, which I don't currently have yet. Um, and then we need some kind of pipe. So the transfer pipe is fine, uh, but we do, need, we do need some lapis still. Uh, and that's that's one of the few things that we that we don't have yet. This isn't lapis, uh, so I guess we're just gonna keep mining until I find some lapis. I don't know what lapis's normal default height is, so uh, I know there's there is a let's move this to here. Uh, there is a cave system up above here that I found that might make things a little bit easier. Of course, I don't have my food on me now. Damn it to hell. Um, yeah, this is the cave here. Uranium, interesting. We just need like one tank of a freaking lapis and then we're good. So it shouldn't, oh, hello buddy. Hello. I'm just gonna ax you to death if that's okay with you. Well, actually I don't really care if it's okay with you or not. I'm gonna do it anyway. And dead, okay. Um, this might be nasty. There we go. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, I'm not seeing any lapis down there. You know, you'd, you'd never think that lapis would be one of those materials you'd have a hard time finding, but apparently, at least for me, it is. Uh, I'm not seeing any down there. I'll go ahead and drop down. It was a nice little dive, if I do say so myself. Uh, seriously? Not one lick of, of, of freaking, ugh. And yes, I know I'm walking by a lot of ores. I know you you OCD folks are, whoops, that wasn't good. That's not where I meant to go. But hey, there is a bunch of stuff down here. We might get lucky and find some lapis. Oh dear God, well there's some obsidian, which I guess is also good. Jesus, dude, this place is, this place is hell down here. Um, I'm just gonna bust through here. Does look like there's some stuff over here, but I don't see, at least off my top of my head, any. Come on, open up. Yeah, I'm not seeing any lapis. Yeah, that's lead. Not something we currently need. Damn it, more lead. It's like I saw blue out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, ooh, piece of candy. And I was wrong. Well, I'm gonna keep running through these. Uh, 
these tunnel systems till we find some lapis. I don't want you guys to have to suffer through my wanderings. Uh, we're gonna have to head upstairs anyway to get some more uh, some more food. So we'll be back. Good God, I have never in my life had that much trouble finding freaking. I found diamonds before I found lapis. I, I I just don't get it. Either way, whoa lag. Okay, this pack every once in a while has has like a frame hit on it, which is weird. I, I don't know what's causing it. Either way, thirty two lapis now. Woo! I'll show you guys. And yes, I know there's a lot of stuff I have in mind, but you guys get kind of a. We did three full blown mines. That looks like lapis down there. It's not. All the way back here. I mean, this was some. This was some in-depth branch mining, and yes, I know I may not be mining at the exact perfect uh, height or anything, but oh well, is what it is. All right, so we need a liquid transfer node, which means we need a transfer pipe, which means we need six stone. So thankfully we have enough of that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that in there, let that cook. Uh, we are gonna need one thing of redstone. Thankfully I have plenty more here. I'm gonna go ahead and combine these to make it a little bit easier. Uh, boom. Put that in there. Pull that out. That still leaves us enough there for that. It seems like there's a little bit of lag going on now for some reason. Yeah, I think the server may be doing a big old backup or something. I'm not sure. That's weird. Yeah, that's some pretty heinous freaking lag. Like, holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> It's funny, the game runs fine until I push the record button, and then as soon as I push the record button, everything goes to shit. Alright, let me let me chat with Solar, and I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. It looks like my internet actually kind of derped there all of a sudden, which is really odd, because I, I usually don't have that problem ever. Alright, so, back to the transfer node. Uh, we gotta make... Well, I don't want to make a rationing pipe. Uh, we'll basically do that one but I think it's with you, and then I need the glass. That's all gonna pop out, isn't it? Yep. Just kinda hoping for once it would stay in. I know some mods allow you to do that, others don't. Is that the transfer, crossover, transfer. Boom, bam, got it. Okay, and then we do this, and everything short of the bucket should go flying in there. Do I still have a bucket? I do, I do, I do. All right, so let's click that. And click that, and still not gonna work. Okay, that's fine. Boom, boom, what's the rest of it? You think I would have looked at it long enough, I would remember at this point, but nope, 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 nope. And it's the two iron ingots that I'm missing now. Yep, 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 yep. Of course, we're gonna just spit it all over the place again. Pretty sure it's still not gonna work, but we'll try it. Hey, it works, yay. All right, so now we have the ability to put, uh, stuff inside of there directly, I believe. So if we want to make alumina, or not aluminum, alumite, if we want to make alumite, um, I think we have to, there we go. So we need aluminum, iron, and we need obsidian. Not a problem. So what do we have in there right now? We have some copper and some blood. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the copper out. Uh, we do have iron, uh, we do have aluminum, but we do not have obsidian, that's the catch. Uh, not only that, but we don't have enough iron, I don't think, to do what we need to do. So, uh, how much do we have left in there? We have 19. Okay, let's pop another one in. Give that just a second. I just want the copper down as much as possible because I don't want to have too much in there that we don't need. Give it just a sec. That's 10. Come on now. Okay, do one more. Let's grab the... There we go. Uh, we'll put that up. Sort, bam, bam, bam. That's at least gonna free up some space. Okay, there we go. All right, and I still have the iron on me, still have the aluminum on me, do not need these two anymore. Okay, there we go, and break this. Whoops. And then I need, where is it? We have two more ingots, I believe, to pull out. Now, depending on how this works, coagulated blood may actually be in the pack. I'm not sure. Actually, it looks like we don't have any more. Um, let's break this off and let's see. Does it dry into little balls? 
Okay, so it does not does not have the same stuff. Either that or it's just not enough in there. Perfect. All right, so we have a completely empty thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put aluminum in there. We're gonna put the iron in there and now we need to get obsidian in there. So we have the lava tank right here, which will allow us to put um, lava in there, but we need water. Water's the other, the other little sticking point, so to speak. So uh, let's make a tank real quick. Uh, tank wise, da, 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 da. we just need like a normal portable tank right there. So copper surrounded by glass, not a problem. So we'll put you in here, boom, 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 boom. That gives us the normal tank, perfect. Now, unfortunately, we are gonna need some iron uh, to do the next part. Now, we have a little place southeast of here where we can get uh, some water, which is good. It's a little bit closer than the place northwest. It does look like there's a couple creepers up top there, which is kind of unnerving. <laughs> Uh, looks like the aluminum is going to convert first and then we'll have to wait for just a second on, yeah, there we go. 24 aluminum ingots. Perfect, perfect. Let's drop you down. Now, for those of you guys who watched some of my earlier episodes, you know to make this uh, bucket that we need, we are going to need the hammer, which we got right here. Because to make the bucket, uh, da, 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 bucket, you need the plates which require this. So not a big deal. Just gotta wait for this to, to push through real fast. Come on now. Come on now, Cletus. Now the nice thing is we do have plenty of iron down in the mines because I, I didn't do a very thorough job of mining everything out. I'm kind of waiting until we get our hammer. Once we get our hammer, it'll be a lot easier to go through all that stuff. There we go. Pick that up. All right, should have the iron done. Perfect, 34 iron ingots. We don't need that many, obviously. We are gonna need a few though. There we go. We're waiting on that. We'll put you here. And boom, boom. It should give me one plate. Perfect. Uh, Got to do that twice more. It blows my mind that you guys are that thorough. Holy shit! Just a few dozen of you, huh? Well, that one's got like some kind of weird freaking doom helmet on. Okay, so this one's armored. That's why he's not taking any damage. That's fine. Or fire damage, I meant, from the sun. All right. And one more. No, we'll wait just a second. Okay, perfect. And we put you here. Probably should have split this down over here anyway. That's fine. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I need to pick up my hammer off the ground. Perfect. We saw the tank, yes? Yes, beautiful. All right, let's head over here to this little field. Wow, that was actually really damn close. All right, put you there. Now, technically, I don't have to do it this way. Um, we're just doing, I mean, because I can make an infinite water supply back at my base if I want to. All right, eight buckets. That's fine. Break. Pick up. Now, this worked before. This has worked before. I don't know if it's still going to work. We are going to try it. Go like this. Like that. Break this. Okay, put you here. And then I need the, um, we're actually going to need a couple more pieces of iron real quick. I think one piece of tin. Do I have a piece of tin? Uh, that's silver. Tin. I'm actually going to cook this one piece of tin and waste it over here. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I don't remember if tin and aluminum and iron mix into anything. Uh, if they do, it could be, I wouldn't say devastating, but a pain in the ass. And I don't like pains in the ass. Not at all. I mean, different strokes for different folks, but for me... Not my cup of tea. Perfect. All right. I technically didn't need that one. All right. So where did I put our little sucker cup? There it is. All right. So if this works the way I remember, I should just be able to put it like that. And you can see it's draining down. And if we look in here, hopefully it's going in. It used to be able to go in. It does not look like it's filling up, though. So we're getting water inside of here but we're not getting water anywhere else. And that is a bummer. I don't understand, because you used to be able to do this. Oh, that's such a, that is such a pain in the ass. Uh, shortcuts on auto refill, middle click, more options. Yeah. Chest button, server movements, yeah. It may not be possible to inject into this anymore, which is a real problem. I mean, it's not a real problem, but it's a, it's a, it's a pain in the ass. That's going to that's gonna annoy me. Now, the flip side to this is we can just do it with a, uh, with a normal diamond pick. I mean, we've got one now. 
uh, one, two, three. We could definitely make one. I was just hoping to be able to avoid this, but it's starting to look like that's not going to work. Now, flip side of that, what we could do, um, I have to repair it first. We could do this, and I believe I can put that on there now, which is going to give this the ability to mine obsidian. So it's not going to mine it quick, but it's better than nothing. So that's what we're going to have to do, apparently. Unfortunately, this is not going to work for us, which is a damn shame. You used to be able to do it. You used to be able to do it. But uh, apparently, because basically you could mix alumite inside the smeltery and it would form up. Because, I mean, the thing basically makes alloys anyway. But uh, sadly, it does not look like that's going to work for us now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a stopgap anyway. So what we're going to do is go like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, clear that out. Okay, one. Hopefully this pack doesn't have any like lava monsters. Uh, I didn't see any while uh, roaming around downstairs, but you know, knowing my luck as everything goes, that may not work this time. And scoop. And we'll just deploy right here. There we go. It just also happens to coincidentally bust a bunch of seeds, which I'll go ahead and pick up. I don't think we're going to really be getting into farming anytime soon, but it never hurts to make friends with the plant people. You don't want to make the plant people mad. They they have long memories. There we go. Pull that stuff up, pick up a few more. Okay, so unfortunately this part is going to be drastically slower than it would have been normally. Um, you can see up at the top how slow the progress is. Uh, it's not too terribly bad. It's just not going to be as good as I'd hoped. Um, thankfully, we only have to do this once. And then after this, we'll have uh, pretty much plenty of stuff. Now, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to go straight to the hammers. Now, to go straight to the hammers, we're going to have to do one more process before we can finish this up. And that means we're going to have to go back down to the mines and mine a little bit more uh, raw iron because we're going to want to make a tool forge which allows us to make the secondary tinker tools. Now, most of you should be familiar with that by now. For those of you guys who aren't, uh, the standard pickaxe is what I'm using right now. Uh, there's a hammer which allows you to mine nine by or three by three as opposed to one by one. Uh, and then there's the lumberjack axe which allows you to chop an entire tree down with some exceptions, i.e. Um, you can't chop. It, it basically has a maximum size. So, and that's basically to keep it from crashing the server because otherwise you could take the lumber axe and chop this thing down and with all those entities, you'd pretty much blow the hell out of anything. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the obsidian in there real quick while we're cooking this up. And that should hopefully make us uh, a decent amount of alumite. Now, when that rolls through, uh, that's going to give us the, the stuff inside the smeltery. We're not going to use it quite yet. We could make a pickaxe head if we wanted to make an alumite pick, but then we're just basically wasting alumite. So what we'll do is uh, once I get the rest of this mined, we'll run downstairs, grab a big old batch of iron, come back upstairs, make the iron into the smeltery. Uh, spit out a few ingots, we'll make the tool forge, which I'll show you guys here in a few, and that'll let us make the advanced uh, tools. Now, the cool thing about this, uh, I was wrong, I don't believe Iguana Tweaks is actually in this, I don't think, uh, because there's no leveling, there's no, uh, all the tools come with their default modifications, which is why I was able to put a modification on this uh, on this pickaxe without doing anything to it. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and basically we're gonna try and find the best damn god pick that we can get. Or at least that's the hopes. Jesus, that's taking forever to cook. One of the other nice things about it is uh, some modifications of the smeltery you can actually get to where uh, you need hotter materials to actually smelt specific things. So, like for instance, you wouldn't be able to melt, you wouldn't be able to smelt obsidian with just lava. You'd need like destabilized redstone. I'm hoping that's not in the pack. Because if it is, that's going to be a real draw. That's going to be a real, real bummer. Real bummer. But uh, it doesn't look like at the moment it is. One other thing I do want to check out real quick is uh, with this, is that work? Now, some heads you can actually put on top of tools uh, to, what do you call it, increase the level. So like this one can mine obsidian. 
Uh, if you put some mods allow you to put it on there and it basically jumps it from like obsidian to diamond or whatever's beyond obsidian like i guess cobalt so uh, i don't think that's in this one uh, i do also think the pick has to be repaired and i don't want to waste an iron ingot at the moment to find out for sure it might be one of those things that we find out or we play around with a little bit later we'll see we'll see all right so now you can see alumite right down here we have 14 ingots of molten alumite which is awesome that's basically what we were trying to do today so uh in the next episode we'll start working on the tool forge which you can find right here we'll make one of these uh oh shit that's gonna be a pain so basically we're gonna need a compressor to do that now the nice thing is yeah we're gonna have to straight up <laughs> That's, that's Jack, dude. So we're going to have to get into IC2 before we can go any further. Which is, which is, uh, pardon my French, bullshit! So that means, unfortunately, we are going to have to make an Illumite pick. So I should have checked that before we went further. That is the beauty and the drawback of this mod pack is the aspects that you do have to get into the other, other stuff to get, to make any progress. So, so uh, I guess what we'll do in the next episode is we'll make ourselves an alumite pet or axe. We'll go over there. We'll detree that uh, or de get some wood from that tree. And then we'll come back, uh, maybe get up on top of this one and take a look, start moving our base up there and then get into some technology. Anyways, guys, hope you are enjoying this series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.